This book goes out to my cousin Mickey, who is my partner in crime creating these books, Cousins Books for Kids, just because. It goes out to my friend Cosby, who read her book online and inspired me to do that. It goes out to all of the witches dance ladies because we can't dance this year because of COVID. And it goes out to Missy McIntosh and Brenda Brown Bison who gave me a makeover. Hexy the Witch Gets a Makeover by Mickey and Roxy. Hexy the Witch lives where the deepest forest ends. She grows a little garden there with help from fairy friends. Hexy plants vegetables and herbs and many kinds of flowers. She uses special words to give her potions magic powers. Hexy knows which plants are which. She tells with just one look. She learned it when her grandma witch wrote recipes in a book. A great big book of secrets, magic spells, charms and potions, long time tested magic salves and Hexy's healing lotions. When her magic blends were ready, she called them Hexy brand. Why they were not selling well, she could not understand. She packed her little knapsack bag and rode her trusty broom to town. But the people who saw the scary hag loudly screamed a blood-curdling sound. Eek! Eek! So she rolled her old and rusty bike, but when it lifted off the ground, the flying bike was such a sight that it frightened everyone around. Eek! Terrified, they dropped their books and scattered down the street. Eek! Horrified by Hexy's witchy looks, a hag they did not want to meet. A catalog of garments fell. So that's how people dress. Maybe if I change my costume well, I might be a great success. So Hexy ordered her new dress from the Fashionista book. It was pink and very springy fresh. She had a brand new look. When she wore her new pink dress to town, they still screamed and ran away. Eek! So Hexy shrugged and turned around. She would try another way. She scratched her head and had a thought. It's my hat, my shoes and my socks. So she shopped around until she bought a hat for her scraggly locks. When people still looked at her askew, she knew something wasn't right. It did not matter what she wore, she was still a frightening sight. She went into the hair salon for a stylish new haircut. Her hair dyed blonde, then blow dried and curling ironed up. She got a fancy manicure, her fingernails hot pink. Now no one will be afraid, for sure. I look normal, don't you think? Not quite, said the beautician. You need makeup to cover your green hue. Hot pink lipstick is my suggestion and some black mascara too. The hairs upon her warty chin were plucked out one by one. She hoped that this would do the trick. Her transformation was done. Her potions were for sale again, her makeover now complete. The customers came in and found her products hard to beat. They loved the Hexy lotions. They loved the Hexy creams. And Hexy's forever young potions were the answers to their dreams. It works like magic, exclaimed one. Yes, the other agreed. Hexy smiled. She was having fun. Like magic. Yes, indeed. Then they invited her to tea, but while sipping the hot brew, Hexy was dismayed to see her makeup start to undo. So she made up her excuses and put down her cup of tea. Her makeover was vanishing fast. She didn't want the ladies to see. By the time she made it home, her makeover was long gone. She felt sad and all alone. 
wondering what went wrong. Her eyelashes had fallen off. Her makeover self had died. Hexie felt so distraught that she sat right down and cried. And then she had another thought. A new potion will make it last. But a recipe there was not, nor any spells that she could cast. She sat at her computer to type, ideas swarming through her head. She typed and typed and typed all night, and then she went to bed. Hexy created the oh-so-fine Hexy brand catalog book so she could sell her potions online and not worry how she might look. Hexy was as busy as she could be. Products flew off the shelf. Success made Hexy happy when she accepted her witchy green self. Hexy brand dreams come true potion. Bye. Roxy and Mickey.